like if my hair was symbolic of the year, yeah, it would be that. We're going to take care of that, maybe, if we have motivation. So I know it's been a while. I haven't been on Instagram. I haven't been on YouTube. I have not been doing well. It's been a struggle, but I want to look like I didn't just roll out of bed. By the way, this is from Target. It's a crop top and then it has this skirt that is high waisted and let's see if I can get over here and show you. So like that, I just got it yesterday. So Target man, it's where it's at. Let's put on a little bit of makeup and I can kind of update you a little bit. So we're gonna do a possible get ready with me and then we're going to go to my mom's and I want to show you her adorable new little puppy junior that happened, a little Shih Tzu. Let's just get a little bit of makeup on this face that hasn't seen any makeup in weeks, to be real. And so all I'm wearing right now is primer. And I put on a little bit of lip balm, but I have some bougie products I got that I haven't even tried yet because I've just, I've just been sick and tired and I've been sick of being sick and tired. But for me, it's really hard for me to put out any content or put out anything and pretend that I'm okay or pretend if there's an issue with someone, I like to talk about it. I get uncomfortable when there is awkward tension and I just have struggled. But um, yeah, and then on top of it, all the symptoms that I have been dealing with because of my other completely unrelated to the virus or anything like that. I have just had some <laughs> very, very horrible timing um, health problems that just kind of we've decided collectively over a lot of doctor appointments that it's been, you know, something health-wise that's been probably <clears throat> building up for a while and finally um, we might be getting somewhere and maybe there's an end in sight. We hope. Someday. But I want to just get back to filming at the very least and I'm going to do everything that I can. So yeah, I couldn't afford the <laughs> Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. So I got the little sample pack with my Sephora um, sale. So it looks like I think 4.0 should work for me. I use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer, which is one of my absolute holy grail primers. I'm just going to have to dot it on my face. I have a headband, but I feel like it's out of my hair enough. So let's just, you know, dot this on and try some of this. So it's supposed to be a soft matte, but skin-like finish. medium but buildable coverage I believe so let's see what we got going on here M maybe a little light actually mm. but it's okay it's uh blending really nice 
it has a nice scent to it. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a uh, bo botanical scent. You know, that spa smell. If you like that, you will love the smell of this foundation. It is really nice. So I know when I looked at this foundation and when it came out, I think it's $80. Yeah, I'm not used to uh, talking and filming and putting on makeup at the same time. But I'm trying because a lot of you guys have requested this and I just, I just want to get back and here I am trying to get back. So there's that for you. It covered really well. Sorry guys, we're in Seattle. So it's four o'clock, but it's already dark. So we just have my ring light and I have to have it obviously a little bit higher. Okay, so <laughs> my health, where do we start? So I noticed my pinky and my ring finger went like completely numb 24 seven, didn't go away, was like that for, I mean, it's still numb. It is getting better but there was a period of time where these two fingers i couldn't even straighten them so um i went and got all kinds of blood work done i'm just gonna put on a bit of concealer because we need that so this is the oma beauty stay woke concealer and then I have the Fenty Beauty brush. I love this brush for concealer. Let me see if I can. It just the way it's shaped and everything just makes it for a really beautiful and easy to apply and really kind of get in the crevices of your eye. <laughs> So, uh, so, so, the remix, so, uh, so, <laughs> blood work, and Dr. Calls says, uh, we need to talk about your blood work. <laughs> I'm laughing because a lot of times that's just what I do. When I get uncomfortable, a lot of times I use humor or sarcasm to deal with it. Not saying it's the good way to go, but that's just uh, kind of how I am. The blood work, I wasn't surprised about some of the findings, but there were some concerning ones and now it's a matter of figuring out the cause and getting the right help, I guess, uh, treatment plan, diagnosis and treatment. Yep. Those are the words I was looking for. I've just felt really fatigued. By the way, I don't know if this is triggering for anyone, but I should probably state that. Um, I am going to kind of touch on depression and anxiety, which I will link my personal story and I want to talk about it more, especially now, especially this year. It is so hard and it's so important to take note of where you are physically and mentally, because it's just, it's already so hard and stressful that, you know, but we need to take care of ourselves. And part of that is finding out maybe things that we didn't really 
A, even consider or think about or anything like that. Totally didn't want the one on my chin. That would have been horrible. So I had or have, and apparently my mom and dad and grandma also had very high cholesterol, not diet related. Um, I actually have been eating a lot healthier and um, just need some powder, BRB. Okay, just a uh, real text, blah, blah, blah. real techniques powder brush and pure cosmetics uh, powder. So high cholesterol, not diet related. Um, there is medication. There is other, you know, diet improvements definitely that I need to. Put into place with me with the depression and anxiety it's hard for me to take on a whole lot i used to be able to but shit done change and i'm in my 30s and sometimes it's just um i've just felt like depleted of energy and uh for a really long time and you know finally doing something about it but it's been hard even to get as far as I have because of the times that we're in and I'm in Seattle so yeah we actually have had a huge spike in cases but we're not going to focus on that. It's Thanksgiving and we're going to focus on positive things to be thankful for. Right? Am I right? I am right. I know I'm right on that one. You can't argue with me. Don't at me about it. By the way, just my favorite bronzer and the whole entire universe benefit Hula, and then I just have a Luxie Beauty angled brush. I love Luxie Beauty brushes. I do have a discount code with them. Uh, I'll have to check what it is and I can leave it down below. And I'll also link my Instagram and everything where I am most of the time. But you guys, I'm going to also be putting up a new giveaway really soon. So, um, okay, I'm kind of scared to use this, but we're going to go for it anyways. I just got to look at the uh, timer and um, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've ever done this before. I've done get ready with me and and I've obviously filmed many videos, but I don't think I've done one where I'm trying to talk about my personal problems while I have a stripe of red down my face. We're going to see. I might regret that. I'm not so sure yet, guys. I'm not sure. I mean, it's just my mom, but, you know, still. It's me, and I'm a perfectionist. I am struggling to talk and do my makeup at the same time, so I apologize for that if this video is uh, a little hard to follow. I'm going to put just a little across my nose just with the brush whatever's left here, just so it doesn't look like a complete stripe, like what we uh, were dealing with at first. And then I'm going to kind of just take my powder brush and blend everything together. 
so that we do not go to mom's house with a stripe on our cheek. I had also a abscessed tooth, uh, one in the very back of my mouth, and it was three roots that uh, were abscessed in, in the very, very, very back and uh, next to my throat. But what we found out with my blood test is the high cholesterol and I have a hyperactive thyroid. So hyperthyroidism. And so that is what we're currently at trying to figure out why and what I need to do about it. I'm hesitant to share that even with you guys, I know that people are going to have their own opinions about my health and suggestions and everything like that. And I am more than happy to, you know, listen and hear your advice. But at the same time, like I, you know, need to figure this out on my own and it's been something that I've been struggling with and I just wanted to be upfront and honest and put it out there and let you guys know in case there's someone else that is going through something similar or you have a friend that is or just anything really. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it, let you know where where I've been, which is uh, basically a lot of appointments. I've had appointments, doctors, dentists, chiropractors, um, just almost daily and calls with my doctor and tests and more tests. And yeah. so this is just benefit me moving the brow. But um, I've had a lot of uh, really not fun symptoms and with it being 2020 and everything that's going on on top of it, it's been difficult to get uh, treatment. It's been a bit difficult to get um, just even help because it's not so visible. And, you know, that's the thing with uh, mental illness and autoimmune diseases. And you sometimes can't really tell. It's, it's been hard and, but what can you do? I could sit here and cry, which I have, <laughs> but I figured we could do something today and I would try to get back in the swing of things. Um, one of the big symptoms that I've had that has been incredibly challenging for me has been, um, just my hands going numb and not being able to feel my <laughs> hands or movement. And I just, I get so fatigued so easily and all kinds of other stuff that I don't even want to sit here and complain about all of the symptoms. Uh, Mac, what is this? No clue. Hella old. So I have this Natasha Donena. I need a nude glow. Yeah, so I've just been, I've been sick, but it's not been like virus sick. It has been like just, um, 
hard to do really much of anything. This is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Um, you know, uh, using my phone, typing, stuff like that has been really, really difficult. So, you know, for me, those of you that know me on Instagram um, know that even though I have a larger platform there, I still, I love talking with you guys, especially there, because I've been on Instagram for a really long time. And, um, you know, of course, I have a lot of friends and a lot of supporters that have been with me for many, many, many years. So, you know, make sure <laughs> to like and subscribe, please, and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos because I'm going to be putting out more content. I can't guarantee that I'm going to look that great or sound that great or feel that great because there are some side effects that I am dealing with and it just is what it is until we figure out and pinpoint exactly the cause and then the treatment and but it's Thanksgiving and I don't like turkey Sorry to offend anyone that would be offended by me not liking turkey, but I don't. And uh, so mom made chicken, but yeah, that blush actually, I think, turned out better than anticipated. So this was Fenty Beauty, I believe this is Love. With these cream ones, I like bringing them up a little more. Okay. I, no, let's, then I got this, wait till you see this YSL. Where did it go? Now, in Houston, we've got a new problem. I can't handle any more problems. Oh, and that's the other thing. So I uh, cracked, I had the abscess tooth and that's on top <laughs> of the other stuff. So to say, I'm, you know, I didn't want to come on here and complain and it's Thanksgiving and I am so thankful for all of your guys' support when I opened my messages in Instagram today, which I haven't in days, to be bluntly honest, and seeing so many comments from so many of you, it just warmed my heart. It's funny, I feel almost like sometimes my supporters are more caring about me as a person than people I know in real life. <laughs> I just, it's just the way I feel sometimes. Just people suck sometimes. But not my mom, she doesn't. So I'm going to go to her house and we're going to have some chicken. And I will show you her puppy, but I... Got to put on some lip gloss and head over to my mom's and to be continued. I really hope that you have a really good Thanksgiving and times are getting scary again. And just please stay safe is all I can say. And I love you and make sure to stay tuned because I will be showing you guys a little sneak peek of the next giveaway. I think I like the blush. So 
I gotta go. I love you guys so much and I hope you are doing well. Please stay safe. Please consider loved ones. I know it's Thanksgiving. We all wanna be with our family, but we also want our family to be alive in the future, I think. I found the lipstick. So this is the YSL uh, Holiday Edition. So I got the darker red. It's like a red brown. But this packaging, you guys, it sparkles. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Uh, this is a number I cannot read. And I use the lip planner, the Kylie Cosmetics uh, from the Sailor collection. It's just a nice uh, nude for the giveaway. I'm going to put it up separately. So make sure to subscribe. Do you like that? <laughs> nice and subtle, huh? That's me. Out of the pain has been in my nerves, like my hands have just hurt, which has made it hard to type and text and work. Um, I've had a lot of fatigue and just a lot of uh, not very great symptoms that I really can't do anything about right now. I'm just in the thick of it and trying to find the cause and trying to get better. And yeah, let's go see the puppy because this is as good as it's gonna get for now. For those of you that might be wondering, he is indeed a Shih Tzu. He is still. He just got a haircut. And my, my mom thinks that that made him a Chihuahua. He is not. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and make sure to check out my Instagram for details about the next upcoming giveaway when I post it and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything in the future. I love you guys and hope you all are doing well. And Junior says, happy Thanksgiving.